By holding an aerosol course in theater, we're maximizing resources with the soldiers stationed here, as well as giving the theater soldiers that are trained to conduct sling load operations. During aerosol school, the students have done road marches, runs, obstacle courses. In phase one, they learned how to plan and prepare air mobile tactics and mission sets. They learned how to move equipment using sling load techniques, which adds a logistics capability to the units, and how to insert via repelling and aircraft repels. Uh, last night of 10 days, we have gone through uh, physical and mental training. I would say I came here physically prepared, but mentally it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, the hardest part, I was chosen as the first sergeant, casual leader type deal. For me, I haven't been in a role like this. In my unit, there's lots of E5s, so I kind of just fall in the background, but here I'm in the spotlight, so it helps with my leadership skills, so it's been challenging. The skills that I have learned here, I have became a better, stronger soldier mentally. I could be a better leader now because of this mental stuff they've put on me. I feel like I'm a better asset to my unit. If you get a chance to do an aerosol course, just do it. it. Some of the best things that you're gonna learn will probably come from aerosol. It tests you physically, it tests you mentally. If you don't ruck, if you don't run, you're gonna push yourself, you're gonna drive yourself. You're gonna learn a vast different skill set from either rigging equipment, fear of heights, being able to jump out of a helicopter, or rappel tower, all around, you'll like it, period. <laughs> aerosol!